Hello everyone, Ted Demetrio here with Angler's Covey doing another edition of Bug of the Month. Today we're going to be talking about worms and I'm going to go over a couple things here. Uh, conditions, our typical setup for nymph fishing and stick around till the end and we'll discuss our favorite worm patterns. So what kind of worms are we going to find out here on the river? Um, they're typically going to be just like the worms you're going to find in your, your garden, your, your earthworms. Um, we're looking anywhere from one to three inches. And these guys, they're going to be in a variety of colors. Um, you got your tan, your pinks, your wine colored. Um, you're going to want to carry a, a variety of colors in your bo box throughout the year. So, when are you going to fish a worm? Uh, we can fish worms really any time of the year, but we're really going to concentrate on the times when the flows are increasing. Those flows are going to kick up the sediment and brush those worms around. Trout will opportunistically eat a worm anytime, but they're really going to key in on these worms when the flows bump up. So, what's our typical worm set up here? I like to start with a four, uh, seven and a half foot 4x leader. Um, I put probably about 12 inches of tippet on from there. My weight there, and then I'm always fishing uh, the worms as my lead fly, especially the, the, the San Juan worms that aren't real weighted. Then from there, I go to my second fly. Um, this one does actually have a little bit more of a weight to get down since it's further from your split shot here. Um, and that is pretty much my setup. I got my indicator, your normal one and a half to two times the depth of the water. Let's see if we can go catch some fish. There he is. All right guys, so one of the easiest ways to see what's in the water is to run a seine here. Um, we can get these, these in the shop, it's just a little net. Fits right over the front of your fishing net here. Like so. Tighten that up and then I'm just gonna get out in a good spot, um, fairly deep where there's some good current. I'm going to put this in front of me and muck around and see what we can get. Let's try it out. So if you're ever wondering what color a worm to choose, uh, sand is a great way to find out uh, that information. Okay, so let's talk about our favorite fly patterns for worms here. Um, got a number of different worms here. Uh, I like the go-to chenille ones. My favorite is actually the tan with the little red band there. Um, you got your mini pig stickers here, your wired version, um, as well as if you want to switch it up and go to a jigged version here, you got your jigged uh, version there, the squirmy wormies. Um, as you can see, there's a number of different colors, different sizes, um, different times of the year, 
Uh, like I said, the tan with the, the band on is one of my favorites, but later on in the year I do I have been finding out that the, the wine colored one works great as well. So that concludes our bug of the month. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe, like, and stay tuned next month for our Stillwater Deep Dive. Bye everyone.